Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and now we'll see a new question in BST or binary search tree. So basically we are given a pre-order traversal of a BST. Now we need to create the BST, right? So if you see in this case, uh, let's say I have given this pre-order manner. I have given this pre-order traversal and that this is a pre-order traversal of any given BST. So this is given in array form. Now from this pre-order help, I need to create this BST, right? That is my question. So how we can solve this question, right? So now if you see, this first element will always represent the root node of this particular BST. Because if I doing, if I'm doing pre-order, in pre-order, the first it occurs the root node, right? So can I say that let's say I am creating a root node. I am creating the root node for this particular value. After creating value, if you observe here, all the lesser values then this particular value will always appear in the left subtree because this is a BST and all the greater values will present in the right subtree. So can I say that all the values which will come, which, which are lesser than this one, they will keep on coming there until it finds a greater value than this 10. So if you see, so can I say, Let's start from the next value of this particular value. So let's say this is a start. So I'm saying this is a start variable at the starting and this is end because I have given my array. So it means this is array which I have given and I'm taking a variable start variable and end variable. At the starting start is at zero and end is at here. Now because I know this is a root node so I create a node for this particular start. Now from this from the next value I keep on checking that where I can find the greater value than this 10. Now at this value, at 15, because 15 is greater than 10. So here I get my, I, here I get my value, which is greater than 10, right? So let's say this value is i. This value is i, right? So can I say from i minus one, this is a start, so let's say this is a start plus one. So from a start plus one to i minus one will be in the left subtree. So if you can see, 2, 4, 5, uh, 2, 4, 8, 5, 9, they will be in the left subtree, right? And from I to end, from 15, 12, and 20, it will be in the right subtree, right? So what I will do, that I will take a recursive function. And in the recursive function, the first thing I will do is to create a node, create a node at the start position, right? Once I created this one, then I recursively call the function and then I will pass the array start plus one to i minus one, right? It means, so here it will operate for two, four, two, eight, five, nine, and this side it will operate for 15, 12, and 20. Now I will repeat the same thing for this value set as well. So it means now assume that my input set is this one, just this one, four, two, eight, five, nine. Again, I will, I will do the same thing. So here is my start. This is my start. This is my end. So it means this is my start plus one. Right? And now check that where you can find the next greater value than this four. So next greater value in this four. So first of all, what I will do, I will create a node of this four. Four. So this is a node basically. So if you see the first node, I have created 10. So let me write here. So I've created 10, then I'm creating, then I've created four. Then what is the next greater value than four? So next greater value I have found out here at eight. It means, so from start plus one to i minus one. So this is i, right? So in this case, basically it will say two, 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 because this is start plus one to i minus one. So i minus one, so it means what I'm going, I'm saying in the left, in the left subtree, I will pass a start, sorry, array, then start plus one to i minus one. This will go in the left subtree. In the right subtree I will pass and this will pass into node of left. So this will go in node of left and this will go in node of right. And what I'm passing in node of right, I will create a function, let's say BHT. So here again BHT and it will be array. And then I'm going from i to, so like here, if you see from i to end, so I to end, it will operate on left side. So what, what I have done, I have created a node. Now in the left, I am passing this value, the complete value. Similarly, in the right side, I am passing this value, right? 
now it will again operate so if you see what i did again because this was my i so it means start plus 1 to i minus 1 so it will be start plus 1 is 2 and i minus 1 is 2 then similarly in the left subtree it will operate on i to end so it will be 8 5 and 9 right again it will, it will operate on this one because here the start and end both are same so it will only create one node which will be 2 right so it will create 2 so if you see 10 4 and 2 we have created similarly it will operate on this one so this is my 8 so i i will create a node here 8 then what is the next value of uh, what is the next value of this 8 which is 9 right so it means what it will do it will basically create 8 then 5 will come here and 9 will come here right so this is how it will create the left subtree similarly it will operate for the right subtree as well for this 15 for this 10 so in 10 what it was it was 15 12 and 20 now again it will operate on this one so let's see this one so here first of all i will create a node of 15 now what is the next greater value of 15 so next greater value of 15 is 20 it means i will be here and is also here and similarly here so start is also here and i minus 1 is also same so in this case 12 will become in the left side and right will and this 20 will become in the right side of the 15 right so this is how basically we can create a bst right so now basically let me show you uh, the code of th this one so that you can know that how it is happening right so if you see uh, this is this is I have the root so at the starting the root is null basically I can say this is a root node of this BST which which I am going to create so at the starting this is null and this is my pre-order traversal of this particular BST so if you see here I have 10 4 2 8 5 9 15 12 20 now I'm calling a function create BST where I'm passing the pre-order which is the array I'm passing the start so start is 0 and end is pre-order dot length minus 1 which is the and index so if you go here and create bst if you see this is these are my parameters so this is first parameter array this is second parameter start and this is third parameter which is end so this is my return condition that if start is greater than end so in this case we can return null because i am passing the final bst so in this case my return type is node right so what is node node is basically structure of this uh, a particular node in bst so it is left then right it is data right so first of all what i said that i will create a i will create a new node from this particular value so my first value is start so i am taking a value as array start and then i will create a new node so what is new node how it creates it basically create a node a new node and then it puts the value a data value whatever we are passing and then the left side and right side it is passing null right so uh, it will create a it will create a node and then after that what i am saying that my aim is to find out the next greater value right if you see what i did that when i was here at start my aim was to find out this i so what i can do that here i can basically i, I can start from start plus one and it will go till end right and whenever wherever this area of i is greater than node of data it means if you see that wherever this value wherever this value is greater than this node so here it means i have found out my i right so it means i will break from here so it means i have found out my i now in the node of left so in the node of left what it will go in the node of left it will go array then start plus one to i minus one right that's what we said that in the left side it will follow start plus one to i minus one and recursively i am calling this one create bht and in the right side it will follow i to end right so this will again call this, this will again call the recursive function if you see create bht create bht right and then at the last i can return node so if you see what i'm doing i am creating a node first of all then i'm finding out whichever the greater value it means because my aim is so this is very important that my aim is to find out this value because this value will represent me that what will be the right subtree and what will be the left subtree right and once i have got this one once i have got my i then from start plus one to i minus one it will go in the left subtree and from i to end and it will go in the right subtree and then i will return the node right so this is what it is happening and at, at the last then it will return the node so in the root i have got my bht right so this is how we can create the bht from a particular traversal now if you see what will the time complexity 
so if you see that if i have an element so if you see if i have the an element uh, in the preorder traversal it means i have an element in the bht so what i what i am doing i am basically creating the bht i am basically creating nodes so it means we need to create the an element right so my time complexity will be big of n so it means i can write here my time complexity will be big of n if there are n element in the total if there are total n element and what is the space complexity so if you see as such i am not using any extra space right i am just creating the node so that will be so that will be because uh, because i am creating node so obviously it will be it will be the we are creating a node right so if you consider that one you can see that obviously you are creating nodes so it means it will be big of n otherwise we are not using any extra space right so that is about the time complexity and space complexity right so that's it guys about this problem and uh, if you have any doubts then please write in the comment section i will try to explain that and i will also put the source code into description section so if you want then you can also get it from there so that's it and if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you